Hi, I am Michael Allison, the developer of the PlayZone, which is my unique application of polyvagal theory, specifically to optimize our resilience and our performance. Because the difference between how we perform on game day in the pivotal moment on the big stage when it really, really matters or how we interact in a really important relationship, how we present ourselves in a challenging environment, it's not based on more and more practice or mental strength or being emotionally stable or repressing emotions. No, what it really is, it's about meeting our body where it is. It's about realigning our physiology to support our intentions, our values, our strengths, our goals, our execution. Because when our performance doesn't match our true potential, it's not that we aren't good enough. It's not. It's simply that our physiology in that moment, under those conditions, facing that adversity, that challenge on that stage, in that moment, for whatever reason or reasons, our physiology isn't matching how we practice. It's not matching how it is when we really perform to our potential. So instead of beating ourselves up, or simply thinking we can tell our bodies to perform. What we do is we meet our body where it is. We recognize how our body is reflexively, subconsciously reacting to the environment, to the challenge. And we build resources and tools and strategies, both top down and bottom up, so that we can realign our physiology to support our potential, to support our intention, our values, and how we want to be. Because when we erupt on the stage, or when we implode on the stage, or when we give up, it's not that we're not trying hard enough. It's not that we don't want it bad enough. It's not even that we need to practice harder, and train more, and get tougher, and get more willpower and grit. It's none of those things. It's simply we have to learn how to care for those bodily reactions that are reflexively occurring to stress and pressure. And we need to care for that and regain just enough control of our physiology so that we can support our performance. We can act in alignment with our goals. That's all that it is. I'm not saying that it's easy, but what I'm saying is that it's not that we're not good enough but that we're not in the optimal physiological state to promote and execute how we are when we're at our best. That's what it is. And so the play zone is a methodology and a set of tools and resources, a whole approach system grounded in our neurophysiology that recognizes our predictable patterns, how we respond naturally in a survival response to challenge, to threat, to adversity and we learn that pattern, and then we learn where we are. Where are we in that pattern? So that we can keep ourselves from following a trajectory toward giving up and shutting down and quitting. And instead, we can begin to climb what I call the performance hierarchy, and we can begin to execute in alignment with our intentions. We can begin to perform more frequently, more sustainably, closer or at our potential. And in the end, we can relate to others. We can relate to our own experience of our own life off the court in a much more important, valuable, fun, joyful, playful, meaningful, joyous way. And that's what really being in the play zone is all about. And we can build skills and we can train off the court to help ourselves enter our play zone more frequently. And I hope to meet you, uh, and I hope if you're considering any of this but to input into your life or into your game, into your craft, into your coaching, into your organization, there are a number of different ways to do that. And you can reach out to me directly via email. You can sign up for any of my online courses, or I do speaking engagements. I'm happy to come and speak to your group or to your team. And most importantly, I hope to someday meet you and help you and 
find your play zone. And we meet each other in our play zone together. So thank you for your attention.